Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm your host, Aftal from Graphic Design Touch. On today's episode, we are gonna design one of the album cover of Ali. And please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. The upcoming video also is going to be a cover design. Hope you will surely enjoy this video. And I really wanted to tell you all this. The most important thing for graphic designing is simplicity. So let's roll guys. Alright guys, now our model is set and we need to cut our model out of the background. Select the quick selection tool or hit W on the keyboard. Make sure the our model is selected through the layers panel. So now select select the area that you wanted. In this case, it's our model. Now to increase the brush size and reduce the brush size, hit square bracket crease on the keyboard to increase and reduce the brush size. Uh, we don't need to be so much perfect now Just keep on selecting roughly And I'm done and hit the lesser tool to to add and deduct selection So here we need to add a part of the hair which we missed earlier So to add that press shift on the keyboard and you will see a plus a plus sign pops up so that means you are going to add selection so keep, keep holding and select what you wanted just like how, you, how I do now here we need to add some selection so let me quickly go through this and it don't need to be perfect don't worry it don't need to be perfect because in this tutorial It don't need to be so much perfect, you will, you will know why later. So, yeah, yeah, now you, now you see that now I have added extra max, extras to get rid of extras plus alt on the keyboard, and you will see a minus sign appears. That means that means you can get rid of what you have selected extra. So yeah i need to add some yeah i need to add fully so let me quickly do this Now we are done in the old version of Photoshop. In here, it will show that refine edge. Uh, press it in the new version of Photoshop. We will have this one select and mask. So put that on white and make sure this is selected. This is the refine edge tool and brush it on the edges of the hair. This will load a bit. Well, it looks perfect, and you see that it's this area is not so much perfect. So so what we are need, need to do is in the output option we are going to select new layer with layer mask. If we have a mask, we can make sure make any changes later on so i'm done i'm pressing ok now i don't need this previous one so let me delete that and 
this is the layer mask now click the layer mask and click the layer mask and hit B on the keyboards to select the brush and if this is totally black make sure this is on white now you see that you can add selection and you can add selection and you can deduct selection so now we are done cutting our model out of the background all right now we have our model cut out of the background and if you are satisfied with it hit right click here on the layer mask and click apply layer mask to apply it so now let's place our background so to do that and i have i have given the link to this straight and alice image in the link make sure to check it if you need to download let me place alice picture to place to our place our model equal to alice image so okay now click our model and put it on top of alice image so let me teach you the shortcut key for that now select our model press shift plus control and then plus square bracket to bring to the top and now let me place equally to alice face our guy's face equally to alice face and little me bigger a bit bigger now now that i'm satisfied with that and i'm done and let's place our background now and before we we are going to place we need to crop it let me crop it after done press enter i'm done cropping and let's hide alice image let's hide it and let's place our background that is the street the links below in the description check it let me make sure this is bit more bigger and let's take our model on top all right now in this we see in the background we see the street is upside down right we need two picture of the street to make one upside down so let's go with that let me duplicate it to that press control g to duplicate and now hit control t to take the transform control or by going to edit transform and free transform so now right click and hit flip vertical and it's upside down now so press enter then then place it on top and select that this and click the layer mask option and we have a layer mask now press b to take the brush or by here so make sure the brush size is bigger like mine so if this is white make sure this is on black and now let's assume that the color has changed now no so press d on the keyboard to go to the default now now click the now hit x on the keyboard to to flip those now if this is white this is black right so now brush it before brushing make sure the hardness is hardness is on 0% i got this option by 
hitting right click so click the layer mask make sure this is selected not this select the layer mask and brush it like this until you are satisfied now i am satisfied and i am done with the background image and let me keep this like this and now we have placed our background and our model okay guys now let's cut the triangles there are two triangles here so let's cut them to do that select the pen tool by hitting p on the keyboard or you can see it here now you don't need to create a new layer for that just select that and trace it on the edges just click it will automatically trace and before that also make sure this is selected to shape so that it's create a shape not a path so now the triangle is done and we need strokes not fills so let's get rid of the fill now let's add the white stroke stroke sorry about that okay let's increase its size let me zoom in let me increase it all right perfect now i'm done with i'm done with the first triangle let's go to the other one it p to take the pen tool trace it on the edges all right now we need a fill only we need a fill only a white fill let's get rid of the stroke let's put this on top let's hide it and now we have created the both triangles okay now let's take a look at this filter so to get this filter effect Mm, this looks like a color image but it's not it's a black and white image with this filter so let's let us change this into black and white so whatever on top click that click that layer click this and go to black and white and let me increase make his face a bit lighter like like elis now okay uh, on top of this layer select a new layer select that and let me put into default and let me show you how did i get that colors so take the brush tool and now press alt on the keyboard and this eyedropper tool will appear from then keep holding alt and by the mouse button one select this blue color and then flip it press x on the keyboard flip it then or by this arrow and again press alt select the purple now we have filled with these colors and i'll get rid of this now let me take sele uh, select the new layer that we just now created then take the brush tool put the hardness into 0% now you see that the purple is down so let's select purple on top and let me brush it and it loads a bit because my raw image is a 18 mb image so it's high in quality so it loads
control C, control V to cut it, then and this don't come on top because it don't show on top because this is already done so put it up now I, I want to make sure this is more bigger and control D to transform control then flip horizontal and rotate a bit a bit more done now now what the eye is right now the this this brushed area behind our model so click the model behind our model right so click here to get a new layer in between these two so we are done click B to take the brush and well, let's go to the default click here and make sure this is white increase the brush size and put the hardness to zero also you can do that from here let me increase the opacity let me take a look at this take a look at that <coughs> sorry about that let's brush Oh, looks good. So now let's work on this eye. And I thought of giving a highlight to his hair, and he will look more even better. So on top of everything, click whatever on top of that. Go here, go to curves, and let's focus only on the eye. Not in, don't look at the other changes happening. Increase until you like the effect then select this layer mask and select the brush and click here and press ctrl i to deselect not deselect invert it okay then this is black so put this to white then brush it only to is high now we have this Oh, let me put this down. Now we have this looking effect. This. It like that. No, what left? What's left? Let's take a look at this text. Is the I use down. All right, now let's go to the text. Alright guys, now we are in the final steps, the highlight that I want to give to his hair plus the text, the text, okay, so let's give the highlight, click here, go to curves, then increase as of you like to, don't worry about the other side, other parts, we are going to invert it, control plus I to invert, then select your brush tool, I'm reducing the brush size. I'm increasing. I have to increase. Okay, I'm done. So let's reduce the opacity. Click this. Put it in black and make sure this is on white. And brush it as how you want it to. Now that's an highlight to his hair. That look even more better than before. Now let's go to the text part. So select the typing tool and type. I'm just gonna type your name. Okay. Uh, the font font is the font. If you, if you don't have this character options go to windows and take it 
the font is bbus new and put it to uh, put it to regular and i should reduce its size all right that's good looks good now the spacing between the letters i should increase them to get that effect let me say keep it this in the center take the character options increase it to get a nice looking effect that's okay now by holding alt drag it so you will take a copy of that now double click in this t to select everything and sample text sample text let me set this to the default zero i should increase a bit not so much so reduce its size scale it down it's look good let me place both of these and we need a bit change and a bit change that uh, the purple of this should increase a bit more right so to do that let's do it okay um select a new layer brush select this color of the caps lock to make this if you have if you have on the caps lock this one get visible so Make it visible. The opacity is reduced. I need a good-looking purple color, a light color. Here we go. And this blue, blue is cut through. And now let's reduce its opacity. Select both of these. Control Shift and Scar Bracket to take it up. We can play with this. Let me increase this and let's take the eraser tool. I'll increase the brush size, then the hardness into zero. Let me brush here a bit. Space, but I need it to pop more. This is even more darker. It's okay. Now we see that our text is more visible. Oh, let me put this here. one thing left let me click both of these and let me merge both of these by control e after merging them i'll select this color which is this and now let's go let's select our text okay let's duplicate by control j and you're done and set it down a bit double click to go to layer style option and go to overlay color overlay then click it and click this mm, for this case not working i don't know all right now let's put it down to this and we have that same effect going on there It is more even darker. This is this should become more darker. And 
another thing eraser tool select this yeah we are almost done all right guys now i see few of few mistakes over here which is this part is uh, this color is on top of this and the triangle is just not white right here and all so we should get rid of this first of all I don't like it because this is more even darker and this is not so much dark let's restart it let's redo that and click here go to brush new layer take your brush select a purple and bit darker this time bit darker now the blue color I want to select purple, new layer selected, looks good, reduce the opacity, now I get the same effect over there and eraser tool, let me erase this. Let me increase the burst size. And now, while the triangle is selected, I think it should be this here. While the triangle is selected, now while this is selected, press Alt, press Control and this box will appear so click there and when this is selected press delete on the keyboard now press ctrl d to deselect it do the same thing for this or just take click here or press e to take the eraser tool reduce the brush size just get rid of this blue on top of that 